for Judy and Dave Hollander to come and tell us about Anthony Glass. Well, we know that this is a great Rotary Club because you're following the rules exactly. As soon as you get a new member, get them involved. <laughs> and exactly. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it over to let Dave get us started, and then we're going to explain some different types of glass and such. We got into the uh, antique business kind of a funny way. I retired and uh, a year and a half ago from uh, 50 years, basically working in the foundry industry. And Judy was a uh, retired school teacher. She wanted to collect some antique uh, cups and saucers. That was where we started in the antique shop. We'd uh, get cups and saucers. We got about 30. Then there's a kind of decorated uh, china from a company called Lefton. We started collecting that. That was a little more expensive. Then we got into the Fenton glass, and uh, that's a little farther food chain. Then we started getting into Victorian glass. That's where we stopped because next step we thought was <laughs> Tiffany and whatnot. That's uh, a little bit too much. <laughs> to to take it off and start first here. Okay, well, the Victorians, <laughs> was, during this period, was a lot of uh, expansion and interested in nature and various different things. And, and we talk about the various <coughs> levels of decorating now, but they were the first ones. Uh, they would put a fancy cloth on something, then they would put a mirrored silver frame thing called a plateau and then set something on top of it. Do you know what these pretty pieces are? They come in different sizes, different shapes. I love this one with all the uh, <coughs> leaves. Um, had great theme in our kitchen and the other house. Um, and here's, here is another one. Nobody knows what they are. Oh good, they're called bride's bowls. And these were the perfect gift for a bride during the Victorian <coughs> period. And you put fruit in them. They sat on the hunt board or the sideboard. Families were usually much larger then. There could be more than one generation of family living in a house. And so these held fruit or whatever you want to put in them. And they were very de decorative also. Um, these are for fresh fruits and vegetables fruits, I should say, not vegetables. They also made one that was for candied fruits. Brandy. Brandy, not candy, brandy. Yes, exactly. Thank you. And they they had something for everything. And at nicer homes, the uh, meals were served in courses. There was a fish course. You had a platter for the fish. You had fish knives, forks, spoons, not spoons necessarily, but all in the sets. And they just used everything and loved everything. Now I want to talk to you about this little bride's bowl. You can see that it is enameled, that means painted on the inside, and it's jeweled, it has a decoration here. And somewhere along the line, some idiot glued it in the frame. You should never ever do that, but they did. There's a, a big controversy. Was this a salesman sample because they didn't have things like we have internet now to look up something other salesman took it along with them or was it a little girl's child's toy because back then the kids were treated like miniature adults so there's a, a discussion as to which way it is but these are this is my collection not Dave's collection so anyway okay this is called satin glass um, if you feel it it almost feels like satin. They made the glass and then they either sprayed it with hydrochloric acid or they dipped it in hydrochloric acid to get this smoothness uh, to it. You can imagine how many people must have died in their manufacturing process because that's deadly. I mean, I would never eat out of or drink out of any of these vessels because it's, it's much too dangerous. Do you all know what these are? <laughs> oh, I love this crowd. No idea. No idea. Good. These are pickle casters. At this time, remember, pickles came in big barrels, and they had to put them in something to put them on their table. And so they put them in pickle casters, and uh, it was some sort of container, 
and a device to take the pickles out with, either a fork or pinchers or, or something like this. Some people like all of this uh, silver plate to be highly polished. Some people like to let it just go natural. Uh, I kind of like it better like this, like this is polished. This is a double. Why would you have a double? Sweet pickles oh, and dill pickles. Yeah. yeah, so they, they thought of everything. They had something for everything. Do you know what this is? Candle holder. No. No. It's a celery. It's a vertical celery. Celery was very popular during this time, and we think of celery as being served on an oval, longer tray, but it was not. It was sometimes uh, served in a container like that. So it's just, they had all sorts of things and everything. Yeah. Where did you keep it all? In the house. Oh, wow. shelves. <laughs> the shelves. We have a built-in wall, we have, not built-in, we have a wall unit in the music room slash living room, and we have a curio cabinet. Um, then in the family room, there's a fireplace and there's built-ins, and that's the majolica is in there. We didn't bring any majolica. Um, then there's a sunroom, and it has another curio cabinet there and two corner cabinets, and stuff just sets out. And we've learned to live with it. Uh, we've always said no small children, no big dogs, and no cats. <laughs> 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 anyway.